Hey everyone, welcome back to Avenue with Genghis. Wow, what a day yesterday, eh? So I'll get to it. And then uh, everybody sent us a mail about new fragment ascension. So, wow. Ebony did a really risky move yesterday. So the reason why, to me why it's risky is they have a business pattern. And there's six days a month where they make their most money. And it's on this event, historical city event. So if we look through these, like, look, people are still spending. So these are the six busiest days of the month for them. The three days with cultural event. It happens on, uh, it happens twice a month. So each event, right? The speed event, the resource event. That's where they make their most money. People don't coin so much on the other days. And to unleash the attack on alts on those days, wow. And people still spent, so they didn't really lose any money. Like, if you compare this to the Pink Gem era, of course it's way less. If you compare it to before that and after that, it's very similar. So spending really wasn't affected. I thought they would have released this, uh, like, I never thought they'd do this. Or, I never put anything behind them, but I never thought, I thought they would do it whenever they do things like this. It's usually on non-event days or, you know, a Monday. Wait, let people forget and start spending again for the next weekend. But uh, I guess it didn't matter. Kind of disappointing. I hope those people who did spend did use the Aptoid app, promo code Genghis, obviously. Get 25% off on your discounts. Information and details how to do that is in the description to the video. Uh, they also released a general fragment. So this was on new servers a while ago. I did a video on it. You can check it out. Exchangeable general fragments. They're, it's only going to be in the all-star shop, though. Um, and it's probably going to be terrible. It's going to be like, use all your all-star coins and get one fragment. And one fragment doesn't do anything for you. You're better off just selecting the general box and getting the actual general and getting 30 fragments. So I'm very curious because it costs... Let's go to this. So... I, I just love to see Ebony math, right? So all-stars, all-star shop. It costs 50 coins, and you could select any of these generals. So if you wanted one of these generals, right, you're going to get 30 fragments for that. So they really should be charging like 1.5 coins for one fragment. Maybe a little more because you could choose. It goes to any general. So maybe three coins for one fragment but it's, it's for sure not going to be like that they're going to charge a lot more than that per fragment unless they watch my videos which some people accuse me that they do and that they take my ideas and then charge us money i don't uh believe that uh anyways what happened yesterday wow so let's just go to the facts ebony went into a bunch of accounts that seemed to be alts and they took variations of stuff. They took people's active open resources. They took people's, some people's gems. They took some people's inventory resources. They took some people's inventory gems. I've heard some people say they lost troops. Uh, then some people said, I think that guy was pack loading who happened to lose his troops at the same time as people who lost all the other stuff. Uh, some people think this was an attack on bots. Uh, doesn't seem to be the case because it seems to be alts, and specifically alts that have been attacked over and over and repeatedly. Um, it can't, doesn't seem to be bots because every server seems to have a few of those honest, hardworking guys who their alts got smashed. We have one. Uh, he's got a couple alts, and he got hit, and it just seems so unfair. <laughs> Like this guy's just been working hard using the switch account option, which is using that switch account option. And by the way, it is built in, <laughs> into the game and they're punishing people for using it. Wow. I don't know. So seems to be an attack on also repeated that were hit often. If we go back to the pink gem thing that where people pack loaded and got some pink gems, they sent out a warning letter about a month before and it said, you know, third party purchases, uh, not allowed. And they sent multiple and said, these are the allowable purchase platforms, Aptoid and then a bunch of other ones. 
This one, they sent out an email about a month ago, some people are saying, that said, uh, hey, narc on people. Tell on people who are doing illegal or uh, things like third-party purchasing or they're using third-party software. And then, then this week, they punished people. So some people are saying that's their window. Because with the pink gems, the people who got busted are saying, whoa, 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 some people pink gemmed way before me and they just haven't done it recently so they didn't get caught. And they might be true, might be might be accurate i don't know but they're saying when their warning letter for third-party purchases came out anytime after that if you pink gemmed you got hit and anytime before that you were safe so some people are saying from that narc letter anytime after that and before yesterday if you attacked alts you got hit anything out of that window you were safe in terms of the alt that never got hit outside that window was safe and didn't get hit so no one knows this for sure, right? Uh, but seems plausible. But either way, that's really not important. What is important, where do we go from here? In my opinion, what Ebony should do is they should change their terms of service and just allow alts. Why not? You have ridiculous levels of buildings and people can't achieve it. Like you, you're asking people to pay a million dollars. So there's what, I think maybe two players in the entire game who would actually do this and have done this. Everyone else like just get dominated by them, which hey, if that's what you want, okay, that's fine. You don't run into them very often. Uh, but uh, going forward, what does this actually mean for us as players and attacking family members and getting resources? Uh, my, my advice would be lay low probably don't do it. I know it's tempting because some of you have family members who never got hit by this sanction and you're sitting there thinking like, oh, uh, I'll feel really, I'll be really mad at myself if I don't take those resources out right now. But I would wait and um, let's, let's let some other people do it. See, see if they get punished. I'm just curious to see if people's main accounts will get punished. That's the big thing, right? Uh, if, if someone goes and attacks a family member right now, right today, will Ebony come after their main account? If not, then hey, just, just keep attacking away. I don't know, but I wouldn't want to be that first person because I do think Ebony might make an example of people who keep doing it, but then in like a month or two, they'll let it go. This happened 18 months ago and they, they, did, the, they did punishments and it kind of took like three days to go over all the accounts they wanted to punish. And then once that was over, it was business as usual. People just attacking alts, joining, joining with bots, uh, that sort of stuff. About three years ago, they also did this. And then they did it one month again later and confiscated from alts. So there, there is two different styles. They've done it in the past. Um, I would lay low and let someone else be the guinea pig. But I know it's very difficult, especially All-Stars coming up. Uh, people people want power for All-Stars, right? Power is money in this game. Uh, should there be a coin strike amongst players? Absolutely. Will there be? I don't think so because people spend in these events. But you can only control what you do. Me, personally, I'm going to be using my reward points for Maptoid. I'm going to use it to finish my cake five here. Let's look at it. And that's it. So I'm kind of going to be done spending for a bit, I think. I'm going to finish that cake and then I'm going to observe and I'm going to wait. And see what happens. See what Ebony does. I just don't like for me. So I spend money. You spend money. Other people spend money. And then we log in and wonder if our stuff is stolen. But how, what type of business model is it to have people log in and be scared that all this stuff is taken this is uh genghis let me know in the comments your thoughts on all of this and uh hey if there's some sort of coining strike out there pass the information on i don't think anything's organized yet you can join the uh, genghis discord if you want to discuss it not sure uh, what all the other discords are out there. What is the biggest discord out there? Is there one that's best suited to organize this? Uh, anyways, like, subscribe, leave a comment.